All right, y'all, what's poppin', man? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's the coolest dude on YouTube. And what we gotta do, we got a video for y'all to too. Huh? This is my boy, Charleston White. He got pulled over by the cops, you know what I'm saying? And he had a loaded gun in the car. I'm gonna show y'all something, though. Begin. When you roll, though, you gotta make sure you keep the lock on your shit. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? Keep it near you, but it got the lock on it. You know what I mean? Always keep the clip out too. You know what I mean? But if you get into an altercation or a situation, then you can just unassemble it, put it together if something fearing you, you feel me? And get it prepared. That's the best I can say. But when you rolling with it, have it like this, and then also have it confined within the case. So. I just wanted to say that before we get to this video because it's like some people get caught up. They like, what good would that do if your gun ain't loaded and you fall into some danger? First of all, you know what I'm saying? Be careful when you're driving. You know what I'm saying? Don't have road rage and then still have your shit prepared to unassemble, to put together, to still do what you might have to do. We're gonna get to this video though, man. Coolest dude. Yeah. Uh, what about drug use? No, no drug no use. Drug use no not drug. even marijuana? Yeah, I, I smoke marijuana. Is it, you ever smoke in the car? That little guy? Yeah, that's it. Is there anything else illegal inside the car? On an afternoon in 2020, Irving police officers noticed a white BMW breaking several traffic laws. When they ran the plates, they realized the car belonged to Charleston White, a well-known community activist. What seemed like a routine traffic stop was about to take an unexpected turn. The tension grew as officers approached, with the air thick with anticipation. What could have been just another ticket soon became something much bigger. You won't want to miss what happens next. Yeah. I was on my way. Oh, but... They support the blue, bro. Mm -hmm. It's good, because I do too. Let's see what they say. How you doing, sir? What's going on, man? Uh, no, man. I'm Officer Becerra there in the police department. Yes, the reason sir. you've been stopped, sir, was uh, rain your tags and shows no insurance. Oh, man. Yeah. Do you got insurance and a driver's license, please? Oh, man. I just rushed out of the house. Man, uh, picking my daughter up from the school down here, man. I, don't, I think I left everything at the house, man. Uh, Even a driver's license? Man, I, I, I just got this, man. Time my shoes up, dropping one kid off the school. Hold on, man. Well, I don't need this one. I just need a driver's license after, after this. I'll hand this back to you, sir. Do you have an ID or anything with this? You want my license number? When the officer arrived, Mr. White appeared to not have active car insurance, nor did he have his driver's license. The officer took his name verbally and ran it through the NCIC, National Crime Information Center system. Charleston, first name? Yeah, Charleston Jamal. I rushed out the house, dropping CJ off, and left, left, left my mom. Yeah, goddamn. And I had money for man's shoes. I don't know what I'd be on. Hey, wait, you said it's fire. It doesn't have anything on the computer at all. So this is Bell and Posse, right? Uh, Old American? It should be, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it should be. All right, man, I'll give them a call. If they say it's good, then, then I'm good, okay? If they say it's not good, then it's gonna be a ticket. All right, that's how it is, man. We don't really play here in Irving with no insurance. It's uh, automatic I, 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 ticket. All right? I understand. Well, you see what's on the back of my on the back of my window, so I do a lot. I, of I hear you, so, man. So, so, yeah, so yeah. I understand. So yeah, if it's not showing, it ain't showing. Baby, okay. did you pay it? Baby. Yeah. 
change credit card. So go on and run it. So are you saying it's not valid? It's not valid. It's just it's a change credit card. So okay. All right, man. Um, it, do you have any outstanding warrants? I'm assuming no, not, right? No, I got you ever been arrested for anything? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, shoot, uh, man. Uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. When was that? Uh, man, that was. Uh, got into it with some gang members, man. A community activist came down into the neighborhood after okay. making some threats. Uh, pointed a gun at him, man. So, uh, you know, getting to leave the property, they went back and called the police on me. So I haven't been indicted yet. So. Okay. Well. All right, man. Hopefully it works out for you. Okay, dude? Yes, sir. Uh, what about drug use? No, nah, no drug no use. No drug use? Not even marijuana? Yeah, I, I smoke marijuana. Is it, you ever smoke in the car? Uh, last night. Last night? Yeah, last you night. You know if there's anything in there right now? So don't dig, dude. I'm just asking. That little guy? Yeah. That's it? That's it, man. That's all you have? That's all I got, man. All right, man. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, it, let me check on a few things and I'll be right back with you, okay? Yes, that's a good uh, driver's license number, right? Yes, and it's going to come back to that address? Yes, All right, bud. Give me one sec. I'll All be right. right back with you. So far, the cop pulled. Dude, it's been like a little bit of weed, a lot of air freshener. I figured I'd ask. He says he's been arrested for ag assault with deadly weapon, Fort Worth. He's still uh, under charges for that. So just FYI. <laughs> you don't know you're here, but he knows I'm here. Not much, man. Mr. What's up? White had a little bit of weed in there. Uh, he said he's been arrested for ag assault with deadly weapon. Roll legal, y'all. Gotta roll legal. Just had them in the book. You got, a, you got a call, Sean? I just got pulled over by the police. Okay. okay. I got on the other line. All right, Mr. White, you mind putting that down for now? So here's the deal, man. Since you got that little bit of weed on you, I got to search the car in your person, okay? Is there anything else illegal inside the car? Oh, uh, I, I got a little 25 on me. Okay. Where's it on you? Okay, we'll just leave it there for now, all right? Anything on your person? No, sir. All right, go ahead and drop the phone. Okay. Oh, uh, baby, I got to drop the phone. Uh, man, let me, can I get my daughter situated while y'all do Not something? yet, man. Okay. Where's your daughter at? Oh, uh, she, she's at the school. At the, All right, uh, yeah, not right now, okay? Uh, Let's yeah. deal with you. Okay. Uh, Good, drop your stuff. Oh, uh, can I put this in the... We'll just leave it up All here, right. okay? You want to hop out for yes, me? Sir. I got a knife in my pocket. Right okay, before. I'm just going to detain you for now. Yes, All right, you're not under arrest or anything else. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie though. I be rolling He's just like that right though. Uh, no, I, I, hey, people be, you know what I mean? Gotta be every day, every day. Oh, Bobby, look, look, look. Hey, hey, that's crazy. I commend him. I'm just going to put it in the bag so I don't lose any of your stuff, okay? Yes, sir. That's not illegal, is it? No. It's not illegal. Ten four things. Hey, I want to make sure everything's out of your pockets, hey, man, I, and then I, we'll go I, from I, there, okay? I understand you guys' job, baby. Why are you so prepared, man? Oh, uh, man, uh, I got a lot of threats, man. Uh, I, went, I went viral. Uh, I walked into the police department, man. After I do a lot of community work, uh, uh -huh. and I went to the police department, man. Uh, a lot of killings going on in the city. Spoke out against the Crips and the Bloods. Uh -huh. uh, so my, somebody did a viral video of me saying uh, that I snitched on the Crips and the Bloods and all across the country. So I've been getting a lot of, lot of death threats, man, uh, okay. all my where, life. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Worth. Okay. And my daughter goes to school right, right up here at the school up here, man. Okay. 
Uh, so I'm just coming to pick her up. Just drop my son off at work. Uh, I run a community center. Uh, I've done some work called Hype About Hype Youth Outreach. Uh, so I do a lot of work in the community, man, stand against a lot of gang violence. So I get a lot of threats upon my life. So That's I got, good, man. I've got over 100 threats, man, over the last. Uh, I just had to go to the police department and make some threats. So uh, uh, against the Harvey Street Crips, the Fort Trade Gangster Crips, uh, the Pyro Blood. So. You're out here trying to do you good, and they're, they're threatening you. Uh, man, my biggest, uh, and then I embrace the police department, so I do a lot of community work on, you know, advocating for... Uh, Mr. White, can you face the car for us? Uh, 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 advocating for, uh, you know, better relations with us with the police department, man. Uh -huh. So I, my message is my greatest threat when I walk out of this door is the police officer that's looking to do me in the home. It's not a clan room. It's another black guy that looks like me, so I speak out against the black on black body. Can you join my, my partner? Oh, right no problem, yeah, just grab a seat right uh, there, man, man, if you so, want. Uh, yeah, man, so of course I get caught. The coon, I get called to sell out. Uh -huh. uh, so if you let me show you on the phone, man, I can show you. I got, I got a pen. I went, it's over 500,000 500, views, man, of me saying I'm tired of the gang violence. They're giving them the kids drugs, they're giving the kids guns. Uh, so, man, my life's in danger. What, what's this on? Thirty-five inches. Can you run the same individual all the way? See if he has a prior felony conviction or a gun in the car. Gotta be legal. Legal. Spoke to city council Tuesday, uh, made the mayor. Every, man, I do a lot of community work, so I'm very much well uh, well known in Fort Worth for the work that I do in the Stop Six area. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, here that's a that's a rough area over there. Uh, man, that's seven six one zero five zip code. Yes, it was one of the rough in Fort Worth. So is that where you're originally from? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Born and raised. Uh, yeah, born and raised. Used to be a trouble kid myself. Okay. Uh, God allowed me to make some bad shit decisions and choices in life, man. Ended up in the Texas Juvenile Justice Department. Uh, spent most of my teenage life there. Uh, got out in 1998. Haven't been back to prison. Uh, it wasn't until I started having children uh, that I started wanting to do something different in life. Never been raised by a man. Never been spanked by a man. Never been disciplined by a man. Uh, I didn't first get a hug from a man until I landed in Juvie Hall. Mm -hmm. So at, at times as a kid, going to Juvie Hall was okay, man, because I found a father. Uh, got out, man. My, my oldest brother, he served in a 99 year prison sentence for murder. Nobody's coming back saying anything bad about prison. Nobody. Mm -hmm. You turn on the television, you see it is glorified in the videos, you put on your headphones, it's propagated in the music. So with that young, impressionable mind, you grew up thinking that's the life. Uh, so I went to this institution, man, never, oh, very never intelligent, had been exposed though. to the games. Got into the institution and said, man, this gang shit is everything I'm looking for. So I joined the gang, started writing home, telling mom, uh, I don't believe in Jesus no more. Uh, took on that gang culture mindset. Uh -huh. uh, thought we was hardcore, uh, but as I got older, I realized, man, we was just hurt kids. Uh, 
See, that's why this right here, this thugs right here mean teaching humans under God's scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So anybody can see the word thugs and automatically like he allocating and glorifying games. No, teaching humans under God's scriptures. Straight up. Just because you love the Lord, you ain't got to be soft. felony convictions uh, but when I came back to my community uh, the African American culture is negative right everything that we get is negative uh, the rap music Master P had just dropped ghetto dope taught you how to cook crack step one to step ten so here it is I'm locked up from 14 to 21 uh, man when I get home I'm mentally I'm still 14 even though I'm 21 I don't know how to talk to girls uh, so I spent most of my 20s uh, trying to find an identity, hanging out with this guy, hanging out with this guy, hanging out with this neighborhood, just trying to find an identity. Uh, uh, and through fatherhood uh, is where I found my identity. Uh, fatherhood is where I found my identity. So how many kids you got? I got two. I got a, uh, I got a, I got a 16 year old son and a 12 year old daughter. Okay. Uh, their mom just went to jail. They live out here in Italy. Uh, they mom just went to jail, man. Uh, I think she was on the run for a couple of years for a probation violation. So uh, I got custody of the kids, uh, married. Uh, so finish my story, right? Uh, went to pre-law school, went to Texas Western pre-law school, man. Uh, and and had a, just had a vision to work with children. Uh, many of my buddies that I went to school with, man, uh, got locked up at 13, 14, 15. Uh, 13, 14, 15. Uh, and ended up doing 19, 20 years. So I started a youth organization that's called Hype About Hype Youth Outreach. Uh, we started going back into the juvenile systems, going into the schools, uh, working with the probation departments. Uh, there was an incident that happened in Fort Worth uh, where uh, a woman by the name of Jackie Craig, uh, son, she was arrested for calling the police to grab the son by the neck. Uh -huh. uh, that is where I learned to embrace the police department. Uh, rather than aligning uh, with the African American community with the hate. We hate police, we hate police. I thought it was a great opportunity, man, for us to bridge the gap. So uh, I took a chance, man. I started uh, meeting with, uh, at the time, was the uh, uh, president of the Police Officer Association, guy by the Rick Van Houten. Uh, I met with him. Uh, chief Joel Fisher was the chief at the time. I started developing a relationship with Deputy Chief House, uh, Chief Krause, who's, who's now the chief at the time. Uh, now. Uh, I literally started developing genuine relationships with them, so I embraced uh, when they brought the procedure of justice to the city. Mm -hmm. So I sat one time in a meeting, and I heard our department. Uh, our, one second, Mr. White. Yes, sir. I, I heard our department explain what procedural justice was to that, and I heard all the pastors, man, they was rejecting that shit. So I'm saying, man, you're supposed to be Christ-like, man. It didn't sit right. So, man, I stood up, and I, my mother pastor was in there, and I said, say, man, all of y'all complain, you know, complaining, but... Excuse my language. I said, man, we don't see none of y'all niggas in our neighborhood. Oh, y'all don't speak out against the gang violence, the black. We don't see none of that. But all of our mothers. So I was able. I was shunned by my community. Sean, they be looking too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like they just want to plant some, some of them, some of them. Always ran to get, you know, ran into great cops. Uh, but 
but my city leaders embrace me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a young emerging leader. I'm radical at times. Uh, uh, I curse. Uh, I use the N words of my people. Uh, but I wake up every day to feed children, uh, to right a wrong that I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, I was with three guys who were, me and my money just flew out. Uh, Here, that was it, right? Sir. Okay. The, the other one, that, that, that other money. Yeah, uh, I got it. So, yeah, if you see the other money, it says for the closest Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut the door, so. Well. There you go. So, yeah, man, so I started this youth organization. So, here it is. I'm stuck in the middle between the department and the community. Uh -huh. uh, the community turned against me. Uh, so, man, uh, that's why I got that gun on me, man. So, like, so if you give me an opportunity, I'll be sitting on Facebook. If you call the police department, I just went to gang in and say, hey, man, the trips are threatening me, the gloves are threatening me. Uh, you look at my videos, man, every day I'm up in the morning promoting fatherhood, saying, man, you don't spend, you niggas don't spend time with your father, you niggas is destroying our neighborhood. The trips and the bloods are in it. It ain't no gun whole time. How can we say anything about anybody when we self-inflict? These wounds are weak. So, man, I got a strong message. And so, man, my life is in danger. Uh, Malcolm died. Malcolm X. Black people killed him. As long as he was talking about white people, white people. As soon as Malcolm started saying what we needed to do, that, hey, man, Elijah Muhammad is a, is a pedophile. He's sleeping with underage girls. They killed him. They killed him. So whoever comes through the black community speaking the truth about black people, man, our lives are in danger. So... You Google my name, you'll see that I, I, I do training in the United States Department of Homeland Security. I used to be a pimp. And I pimped on my children's mother. When I saw my daughter being born, man, God did something on the inside of me. I changed my life. Somehow, I would go to Eastfield College for year after year, and I would train in the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. DEA would be in there, a special agent by a guy named by the name of Keith Owens. He heard me speak one time at Texas Western University. I do public speaking. Uh, I was responsible for leading a group of children uh, who took someone's life and his kids, man. Uh, me and three buddies skipped school one day. Uh, and we went to the farm field through mall in Arlington. We ran out of football. <coughs> and my 16-year-old friend shot and killed the guy who tried to stop him. And now my name was We became the first children uh, in the state of Texas. Uh, to fall in the Texas Juvenile Detention Law where kids can be sentenced up to 40 years. Uh -huh. I got 12 years. And the only reason I didn't get 40 is my mom was financial aid. My, my, my co defendants, they was all tried as adults. One received 75 years, uh, the other one received 99 years, went back on the pool and got 25. My 15 year old friend, uh, he died in a, in a high speed chase running from the police. I understood that I paid my debt to society. So I do what I do because I owe my debt to that victim. I forever have to owe that debt. So I wake up and work with you, man. With my life on the line. Mm -hmm. With my life on the line. It's out of obedience. That's all I can say. Uh, it's out of obedience. I got advice. A little old bit of weed. I found a little old blunt of weed. And I smoke a little weed at nighttime, hit me another day. Oh, uh, that's it. Get my kids. Pick my daughter up, and I pick her up, and pick her son off the work, we go home with the wife. Uh, I'm just passing through y'all city to uh, get my baby girl. Yeah, so, you still currently live in Fort Worth? Yeah, I'm going yeah. away. Yeah, okay. No, I ain't going nowhere. Uh, yeah, so, what, why do your kids come to school here? Uh, their mom lives out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, their mom lives out here. We've been, so we've been divorced for about 10 years now, man. So, uh -huh. uh, uh, mom, got, mom got an abusive relationship. Uh, I got full custody of my son. Uh -huh. uh, daughter. Uh, rather be with mom, you know, kind of, you know, it's kind of you know, understandable. Uh -huh. uh, mom just went to jail probably about a month ago. Uh, I think they just transferred her to the uh, to the Safe Peak program. Uh, I think it's a drug treatment program. Okay. So they just transferred her, so she'll be there by 90 days. Uh, oh, we got the phone over there. Grandma called me this morning and said, hey, can you pick her up today? Uh, my grandma's having an 80th birthday tomorrow, uh -huh. uh, so I'm picking her up so she can help mom uh, decorate the house, man. So. Okay. No, I mean, y'all see me every morning. I come through every morning. Uh, y'all see y'all see me blow at them. Uh, call some guards, blow at them. Uh, so. so, 
Well, it's here. Uh, what's your name on Facebook? Charleston White. Charleston White? Yeah. To, I wanted to do something one time, man. I couldn't. I just couldn't get no traction on it. Uh huh. What's that? I wanted to get like a little book, right? Uh -huh. I wanted to get some officer stories and, and have you guys write a story about what it's like to be a police officer, right? So the name of the, the name of the book or the project is going to be called Walk a Mile in My Shoes, right? Mm -hmm. You get some officers to write what it's like, man. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Walk out that door, kiss your family, put their uniform on. Come out here and not knowing if you're make it back home that night. Then I wanted some children to write their story uh -huh. about what it's like to grow up in some of the conditions that you guys go and make the rest and kick doors in. Uh -huh. And then y'all exchange those stories and get an understanding of what it's like to walk in each other's shoes. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to do that, man, uh, to humanize. Uh, I see you got a badge, but you don't have a typical badge of what we see. I, I wanted to do that, man, to humanize that badge that you guys put on, man. The liquor in the back. You being straight up with them though, that's what's up though. Be straight up too. But I'm gonna hold on to this for a sec, okay? Yes, sir. All right, so he's convicted felony in Oklahoma in '99. That was 20 years ago. I can't remember. Possession of firearm by felon, Texas. After they've been convicted five years, released from prison, found guilty. Texas cannot possess a firearm. Once the five year period position is expired, felon can possess a firearm only where that person lives. You know, I'm talking about I just got fresh, jumped fresh out the shower, <laughs> uh, been laying down, put my put wash clean the shoes. Uh -oh. Put this on, man. Drop my son off at work. Yeah, work. Man, I'm getting clean. Don't know if I'm going to want to wear the jacket. Put the jacket on. I said, man, this jacket don't look pretty. So, yeah. Uh, Friday. Sun shining. Uh, yeah, man. Pick baby girl up. We stopped. Grab us a bike. Uh, yeah, next thing I got to know, the lights is. <laughs> Freeze. Don't move. We don't run and get shot. We don't reach. We don't pull our pants up. So, uh. Mr. White, you, you said you've been uh, talking about all these other gang members, right? That's why they're targeting you yes, and you're sir. keeping all these weapons, the shiv, the mace, the gun. Do you have any, I don't know. Man, please, take, that? Man, take my hand. Okay, I'll right. show you. I was just telling him, let me show you. I went on World Star. I'm on World Star. That's What's the World Star? Internet. It's over 500,000. It's probably 500,000 views, man. I, man, please, let me. Someone took my, I had to go to the police department, right? Uh -huh. The Harvey Street, four trade gangster trips. I'm a community activist. I'm very vocal against black on black crime. I'm very vocal against the Crips and the blood. So man, I'm always taking a hit. Man, where you at? Pull up. So last week, I, I went to the police department, live on Facebook and said, hey man, I am being threatened. The police department know me. So it died down. Someone got that video in homes of calling me a snitch and it says Fort Worth man snitches. This is what the title says. Fort Worth man snitches on Crips and Bloods 
and drug dealers. So that grabbed so many people's attention. Man, I'm getting threats from all over. My mother called me, man, my wife called me. Man, you can, man, I can give you the number to the, to a gang unit office. You can call right now. So, uh, you, Mr. White, do you know what unlawful possession of a firearm is? I, I, I understand, sir, yes, sir. Okay, you got drugs in your car and you have a gun. I understand, yes, sir. The, the, drug was in a, the, the drug was from last last night, man. The gun is that I just left the house. I was just telling him that I did. You see, I just walked out of the house. I understand you guys you got You also drugs. just got charged for the ag assault I, with the I gun. I just, the threats are just, just, man, please let me show you my phone, bro. Okay. I'm not, please. So, so here, real quick, before these tighten up, because I didn't deadbolt or double lock them, okay? I'm going to lock them here, and I'm going to put you in the back of my car, okay? Again, you're still not under arrest. I just got to make some phone calls. Sir, please, man, do, let, okay? let, let me just show you the world stuff. Just, just have a seat, dude, okay? And I'll come back to you in a second. Okay. Oh, please, let me show you the video. I hear you, buddy. One second. What do you think? thing about it is uh it went smooth and then you know what i'm saying it's like you did just drop the kids off at school so it's like the gun was it in the presence of the kids you know what i'm saying so they still got to look at it in a way to where you know it could have all been wrong still but you know if, you know getting threatened or whatever i don't even get threatened and i carry mine but you got to do it legally more legally we up out of here, baby, man. Y'all pay attention on that road. We up out of here. Hit! Hit squad. Ha! Ha! And reckless. You know what I'm saying? MC Doc, baby. We came to do this. You heard?